We begin with breaking news from Israel, where Benjamin Netanyahu and his right-wing allies have secured a clear majority with all the votes counted. The former Prime Minister's bloc has won 64 seats out of 120. Current leader Yair Lapid's alliance has 51 seats and the caretaker Prime Minister has conceded. Netanyahu is already the longest serving Israeli Prime Minister. He's been leader for 15 years over multiple terms but is still facing corruption charges. Let's bring in Stephanie Decker who joins us live now from West Jerusalem. Hello there Steph. Lapid's concession paves the way for Netanyahu's return to power. Yes, I think there is no doubt now that it will be Benjamin Netanyahu who will be, um, you know, tasked with forming a next government because there's a process now that takes place. Basically, uh, they will hold consultations with the president at the end of next week, all parties, and then the president appoints the person best placed, if you will, uh, to form a government. I think we're under no doubt now that that is going to be Benjamin Netanyahu. He always said when he was ousted from power last year that he was going to do everything to bring down the government um, and to come back to power and to come back into the prime minister's seat. He's done it. He's back with a vengeance. He brings with him uh, the right, the most right wing coalition government that Israel um, has seen. And I think it's going to be interesting now in terms of once those negotiations uh, start, and that's going to take another 28 days from once um, Netanyahu is tasked with forming a government, how the cabinet is going to look like. Because you have characters that has been part of his coalition, like Itamar ben Gavir, extremely controversial, far right wing, ultra nationalist, religious ultra nationalist, um, who has had been de demanding the uh, public post of Minister of Security, which would put him in charge of the police. There have been rumors as well that uh, Netanyahu is not going to give him that, but there are going to be demands of senior cabinet ministries. So how that is going to be allocated, we won't know uh, at least for another month or so. But what is clear is that it looks like Benjamin Netanyahu has done exactly what he promised, and that is to return to power. So, Steph, what do the next few days look like? Will there be an official announcement of the winner? Well, as I said, so at the end uh, of, ne of this week, um, next week, uh, he will, Prime Minister, well, I'm calling him Prime Minister already, he is essentially, he will be, but he will be uh, visiting with Isaac Herzog, the president, along with Yair Lapid, uh, all the leaders and the parties, there'll be consultations. And basically the way um, politics works here is it then down to the president to appoint the person he believes has the best chances of forming a government. Well, there are no questions anymore that it is going to be Benjamin Netanyahu. We know that last year, certainly, Yair Lapid was very much, um, I, I think, uh, special in how he orchestrated a coalition that ranged from left to right, with the first uh, Palestinian-Israeli party in government as well, all coming together for one purpose, to get rid uh, of Benjamin Netanyahu. But their ideological differences didn't remain. It didn't last more than just about a year. Um, and so what we do expect uh, by the end of next week, potentially early the week after, uh, for Isaac Herzog to appoint uh, Benjamin Netanyahu as the man to form a next government. And then those negotiations will start as to how the cabinet and how the government will look like. And once that, that happens, then Israel will know exactly uh, what their next government will look like. So there's still a political process involved. It's still going to take some time. But again, very clear that, uh, you know, unless there's any major surprises, that Benjamin Netanyahu will once again be prime minister. Great. Thank you so much for the update. Stephanie Decker, live for us there in West Jerusalem. Thank you.